Hey guys, this is Hot Noob here, and I'm going to be showing you guys a nice little neat trick here. Well, it's not really a trick, it's actually in the manual, but if you're a CentOS user, this is definitely something that you should be aware of. Uh, you can actually find everything in this tutorial on the, or in the CentOS manual, or the documentation, or whatever you want to call it. So I'm just going to go ahead here and reboot. And sorry if I'm a little shaky here. So what I'm going to be showing you guys is how to get past the root login. Yeah. So I'm just going to assume that you can't get in or whatever. So what you're going to do is you're going to want to restart it. And while it's booting up, you need to have physical access to it. And you just press on the space bar. Just keep doing that until, well, just got to wait a little while and I'll show you the screen that you need to wait for. Until this screen, the G, whoops, G R U B screen. And then on this screen, what you want to do is you want to press the A key. Then it brings you up to this little screen. And what you want to do is you want to hold down on the backspace and keep going, keep going all the way past the R H G B. And then type in the number one and press enter and yes I know my keyboard is pretty dirty and there you go screen starts flashing blah 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 oh no doom oh wait there is the welcome to CentOS message oh, and it boots up so what this is is this is sort of like a safe mode for um, I guess CentOS right yeah um, you don't have full functionality in this mode. You like you don't have networking capabilities on right now. So uh, yeah, but what you can do is you can type in password command, press enter, and change the root password. So in this case, for this example, I'm just going to type in password, and you can sort of watch me here. Pass word. Press enter. This way you guys can tell that I'm not actually lying about this and that it actually works. And it says updated. I'm just going to go ahead here and reboot. So restarting. I know, I know. So while it's rebooting, I might as well go up over some uh, basic defenses for stopping people from just coming over to your house and changing your password. Like, as you can tell, it doesn't actually take that long. It takes like 10, 30 seconds, whatever to do, um, depending on your computer. So uh, yeah, the best defense is to simply not put in a monitor. Just Hide all of this shit. Hide the keyboard. Hide the monitor. You don't even need it for CentOS, right? Espe well, depending on um, what setup you got. But if you got a nice server setup, you don't need a monitor or a keyboard. As long as you remember your username and password, you just go on your laptop or computer or PC and um, SSH into it. And yeah, so here we are. And I'm just going to log in here. So root. It's a T, yeah bit hard to do, a bit weird, so, uh, yeah, pass, word, and sorry if my hands are shaky, I don't normally use the video camera, so there you go, you got root access, and you can also, oh, yes, can reach it, you can also use your good old SSH root enter and then pass word Just enter and poof you got access yay access anyways this is oh this is Hot Noob here, and you guys can come check out my blog at hotnoob.com. See you guys later.